In this video, I make a fish and an enemy guard for an SLW-10 Wavemaker by Jabo. I've made several of these now, and this was actually one of the most asked for, so I had to do it. Stay to the end to find out where you can get a hold of one of these for yourself. Welcome back to IC Live. My name's Mark. So in previous videos, I made a fish and enemy guard for this Nero 3. I also made one for the SLW 20 Wavemaker by Jabo, and then the SLW 5. So it's only fitting that I move on to making one for the SLW 10. However, there is one major difference with the design that I make today, and that's that I made it way more print friendly. So it can be printed out without supports with an FDM printer. That also means that I can make it available at a much cheaper cost to you if you don't have the means to printing it. So stay till the end and you can go ahead and figure out where you can get one for yourself. But to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the SLW-10. And this thing is no different than the SLW-20 or the 5, so I will keep it quick. A bear called Longclaw. Works as well for a wolf as a bear, I think. Once again, in the box, we've got the main pump, we have the controller, we have the power adapter, and the manual along with the magnets to go ahead and hold this thing to the side. Now, it is no different than the other pumps. It's made of three main parts, the front cover, the impeller, and then the main pump body. So to this point, I've got limited use with these pumps as I only have the SLW-5 set up in a tank right now. I am a fan of the design. However, only time will tell to see if this pump holds up. I have read online that it doesn't have the best warranty and they can tend to uh, burn out, but I have not had that experience myself and so far I like them. All right, so no need to do a drawing considering I've already made three of these models. So I jump into Fusion 360. The first thing I start off with is a detailed model of the exact pump body that the cover is going to fit onto. So I really took my time on this. I'm not going to show you the whole process because it is too long and too boring. Uh, but this is the model right here and that's a little placeholder for the impeller. And then I made a front cover. And then last I made the rear cover which I'm going to apply the Voronoi structure to. And then this thing is basically ready to print. But before we do, let's take a look at the finished model again real quick. And there it is. So let's get to printing. So as I mentioned before, I made this model much more FDM print friendly, and that means I made the base of it completely flat so it can stick to the build plate. And then also I reduced the angle of how the pump back gets larger so that it's more vertical when printing, so less overhangs. And this thing only took a little under four hours to print. And here is the finished model. Now this one came out pretty rough. The stringing issues on my machine um, need to be taken care of. I had some mess ups in the front, a lot of blobbing. My G-Tech really sucks. That thing's a piece of junk. I need to get a new printer. Um, there was even a layer shift at the bottom. So if you notice down here, there was a layer shift. So kind of not really a usable model, but it was able to, I was able to test this model on the pump. So I found out that it fit perfectly. And then I ended up printing another version of it and it turned out great. Although I finished it in acetone and I got that white residue all over the, the ABS. So I cleaned this one up. Um, you can see some layer lines. It really does look great besides this acid, this white residue. Um, it's not really going to affect anything. And I am going to actually use this one, um, but definitely not going to finish it with acetone next time. Here's an example uh, real quick of the nylon print. And this was the one that I made for the Nero 3. 
So if you notice, this is just an extremely good print professional. Now, with the model, I am making it available, this model, in either the nylon print or the FDM print. However, it's being printed in PETG and uh, by an actual service that provides you know, higher quality prints than I can do at home. So if you'd like to get your hands on this guard, I've made it available on iclive.com. From here, we can get the black FDM PETG print, and it, this one will have layer lines. It will also have some minor flaws, but it's much more cost effective because it's under 20 bucks. So it's 19 or basically $19, and that includes shipping. So shipping is free. If you want to get the ultra premium version, the nylon version, that one's $32 because it's much more expensive to print. And it's also $9 to ship. So it's over 40 bucks out the door. Um, and then the purple one that's nylon is even more expensive. So that wraps up this video. If you like what I'm doing here, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to continuously be making more pumps and upgrades. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you live in the next video.